It's nice to have help. It's great. Good morning. Conrad from Growers Homestead. Um, we have a gorgeous day. It's kind of misty. But hopefully we'll clear up and we're gonna have a nice day. We have a really busy day today ahead of us. We have a few tasks to to accomplish today and uh, we might bring you with us. So we have three three big things to do today. We're gonna harvest some spinach. We are going to transplant a bed of purslane. The first transplants that are going in this year. And then we're gonna sow the bed of rocket and Mizuna. Still by hand. We are waiting for we are waiting for our cedar. We are on the order list, waiting list. So it's nothing we can do, we just have to wait. Everything takes much longer these days. So um, I'm gonna go get some compost on the bed. We have a bed prepped, broad forked, hold, and um, it's ready to be ready to be sown. The girls are harvesting spinach already. There they are. Enjoying themselves, harvesting spinach. So we have uh, so we have Roshin with us today. Roshin is the volunteer that comes in, help uh, uh, help out a little bit. She would come in uh, um, every week, almost basically every week um, for a few hours, even twice a week sometimes. Um, help out with whatever we need to help the most with harvesting, with planting, with sowing, transplanting, whatever, flipping beds, mulching footpaths. Um, so, and we always make sure that she doesn't leave empty-handed. So, unfortunately, we don't have a kale for her today. But hopefully she's gonna be okay. So, I'm gonna get some compost in, and then I have to get it from all the way here at the front of the farm. To the tunnel four. Okay, let's do it. So I got three wheelbarrows in and halfway there, another three to go.
and you're probably thinking why he starts at the very last bag over there so the bag that is farthest away from uh, from the tunnels um, especially from the tunnel I'm going to but uh, first of all it's not that much of a difference it's only a few yards and second of all I just want to have it gone that last bag um, I'm not gonna get my neighbor Claire to get um, to get back here with the tractor to move the bags closer I don't think that's that would make sense it would make a little bit different a little different yes but I, I don't think it would make that of much of a sense I like the I like the exercise, I like doing it, I like doing it by hand and I'm really happy that we're doing most of our tasks over here by hand. Um, we're not using so much fossil fuels, I think it's really good. I think that's one of the keys about the regenerative agriculture and you know, or organic agriculture and all that. We're trying to the land and maybe even heal the land by actually working with the land so and even this compost that we're using is just look it's pure black gold it's fantastic so we building soil over here Hey guys, so I'm going to spread the compost over this lovely bed behind me. Uh, how I'm going to do it, I'm going to use the rake and I'm going to spread it with the back side on, on the bed. So just like this. That's the best way, the easiest way, fastest way. So hopefully you will find this tip uh, useful and then after that we're going to plant some mizuna and rocket. So that's done another quick tip is when you're unloading your compost make sure to create small small piles but you know in the shorter distances so you don't have to drag the rake for a meter or even more that puts strain on your back and you're bending and you're you know so small piles close close to each other and that'll be that'll be very easy Oh wow, it looks so nice and fresh. <laughs> oh. So as you see, Ferris bed being transplanted this year. So it's a winter porcelain. Mm -hmm. uh, it grows very well in the winter, as the name suggests. It doesn't do well at all in the summer. We tried it, we made the test last year, waste of time. Do not grow it during the summer. Mm -hmm. Do grow it in the winter. Mm -hmm. uh, come, uh, cotton come again. 
variety so you just cut it and it grows back full of vitamin C really good especially for the winter so for easy we doing it for maybe 10 minutes and we halfway there mm -hmm. um, so as you see we're not using any strings or anything we used to a couple of years ago <coughs> It took longer to set up the strings than actually do the transplanting. Mm. After a few years you get the hang of it and you can basically do it. So I'm doing five rows because it's a quite a small plant. Normally we would do four rows and that bed is a little bit wider than 30 inches. 76 centimeters, probably around 85, maybe even 90. And so that's how we're doing, you see. Russian is just taking them out, uh, laying them for me, and I'm just popping the hole with my finger, pushing places to the side, boom, plant in, try to cover it, and that's it. Just sign some Mizuna. My favorite Mizuna. I'm doing four rows and I just drop in a pinch. I have my fancy dividers. So we're doing four rows because we use um, three lines of a drip type, usually, and for the 30 inch bed. So you have four rows of a crop. So we finished for today. Yeah, we made it home. Yeah, yeah. Um, lots, thing, lots, lots done. Yeah, it was nice. Nice and productive day. We got a good few things done. Yeah. We harvest some spinach. We um, transplanted, transplanted porcelain, porcelain so, so and we saw one full bed of mm, broccoli and mizuna. We did some hoeing and... And then we did the cultivating now after lunch. And I work with my strawberries as well. Yeah, we did um, some strawberry work. Yeah, it's nice to have help. It's great and yeah. it's deeply, really deeply appreciated from us. Uh, yeah. Russian, Russian is coming in to us for almost a year now. Yeah. Well, well, nine months maybe something yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah. She started before the summer anyway, and she was, and she keep going through the winter. So massive thanks to you, Russian. Thank you. It's we, always we, a we know you're watching. Pleasure. We know you that you are watching, <laughs> yes. and um, yeah, she, she's she's always really. Uh, really helpful and mm. we can have a 
conversation and we enjoy that conversation mm. and mm. and it's nice to have someone else on the farm as well yeah exactly uh but yeah nice product today it turned to rain so rain cold oh. i have a full trailer of firewood to unload that we got yesterday mm -hmm. really nice hardwood um it's nice it's hardwood because it's gonna give a lot of heat but it's much heavier so mm -hmm. when it comes to unloading it is uh, it's a little bit harder but it's it's okay i like to it i might get david to give me a hand mm -hmm. so he don't have to go to the gym <laughs> the gym will be here for him. <laughs> so yeah yeah i'm gonna finish finish this vlog thank um. you everyone for watching today's uh, video um, if you want to find out anything about what we're doing, anything more about our market garden or anything else, mm. just put it in the comment or you can contact us on Facebook or Instagram at Glow Roots Homestead. And um, yes. Yeah. Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel if you already mm -hmm. didn't. Ha didn't. And uh, click like and comment. Thank you very much everyone for watching. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye.